Okay, so this video is for the found object print printmaking, which is mono printing with found objects. So here are some examples of some things that were started, haven't been finished yet, but a good idea of using found objects, dipping them in paint, and then applying them to a surface. So what we're doing is we're using construction paper or white paper for the actual paper we're printing on. And then we have a whole bunch of containers filled with objects. We have uh, long things to dip in paint. We have uh, knife tools. We even have things to dip in paint and then put on the paper like objects. You might need some scissors because you may need to cut some paper. We also have these large boxes filled with all kinds of goodies and the paint. For this project, we have been using acrylic paint and they're in this small little containers because it just makes it easy because you don't need a whole bunch of paint. You just need, you know, a little bit here and there. There's also big objects, small objects, whatever's in here, even these tiny little clear things you can dip in paint. So whatever's in the box you can use. And what we've been doing is when things are dry, we put them back in the box. And then when they're wet, we put them in this container. So then we can take them to the sink and clean them. So I'm going to move those objects over just a little bit because this is going to take up a little bit of space. I used my scissors to cut some palette paper. The palette paper is like wax paper. It's for putting the paint on when you're mixing paint. So I used the scissors to cut that. And then I'm going to tape that to the table. It doesn't matter what kind of tape you use. I'm just going to use clear tape. Totally fine. And you only need to tape it like two places. It's fine. And then you need your paper that you're going to be printing on. Okay? So I've got those ready. I think I'm going to cut my brown paper in half. Because someone in uh, one of the classes had a really great idea to make little cards. I really like that. That was fun. So if you want to make cards, you can. And I just know I'm going to be printing on this side of this one. And then maybe I'll, for this one, I'll just use uh, the whole paper. You can cut them whatever size you want. All right, so now I'm ready to pick out my colors. So I think since I'm going to be printing on, on blue, I'm going to use some yellow. Uh, these just squeeze a little bit of paint out, whatever you think you might need. And I think I'm going to use some red. You don't have to shake them, they should be okay, but if they come out gooey and liquidy, you might want to close it and shake it. And please close the lids when you're done to make sure they're all the way on. All right, so the next step is to get one of these knives uh, for painting knives. And what I do is I kind of spread out the paint a little bit, just a little, so I can dip it in, uh, dip the objects in the paint. You might want to clean this off really well before you use it because that one had a little bit of weird paint on it. Oh well. And then I think I'm going to do the same for the red. Just going to move it around a little bit, move it down so you can see better too. Also, if you want to mix up a color, you can scrape some, put it here. Let's say I want to make some orange because you only have the primaries, I think. Oh, there's a green in there. But um, let me grab some yellow and I'm going to add that in there and I'm going to mix up a dark orange. Okay, there's my dark orange. It's a nice color, maybe a little bit more yellow. So mix the colors if you would like. It is your choice. If you want to make a tint, you would add white. And if you want to make a shade, you would add black or brown. All right, so there's my, so I have my two primary colors and then I have a secondary color here. So now what I'm ready to do is I think I'm going to do my little card first. I'm ready to pick out the objects that I'm going to print with. So I like these little green foam things. I think I'm going to dip this in my little orange here and make sure I got my card right. And I think I might do like a little border. Some colors are going to show up better than others. I think I'll do one at the bottom. This is experimental. It's also something that you may have done as a kid in like kindergarten or first grade or whatever. But this is a little more sophisticated. I want you to think about pattern and color and mixing colors, whatever you want to do. Make a card, make something fun. Okay, I've got this little pattern going here. I think I'm going to do another one here. And then if you want to, you can let it sit and dry while you're still thinking of maybe another thing to do. So I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to get out my blue paper, and I think I'm going to do this yellow on the blue. We'll see how it looks. Okay, that's showing up pretty well. 
I think I'm going to pick out another object. So now is the time where you just kind of wipe this off. If you're going to keep using it again, set it here, or you can put it in the container there. You're going to be sharing these containers at your table, all right? So beware. Uh, I'm going to get some red with these long styrofoam pieces here. And I'm going to whoa, do trial and error, okay? Some things are going to work and some things aren't. Some people were actually painting with these objects, which was really cool. I saw some really nice things the other day. Um, yeah, so print, wipe it down when you think you're done. Oops, that bent, that's okay, put that there. Uh, straws are really good to use. You're going to find some colors work a lot better than others. You may want to experiment on some scrap paper first. Okay, so that's that. Let's see what else we have in here. I'll do one more. Um, oh, I like these circles. So as you can see, my hands have paint on them. You're going to get messy. It's just what it is. If you have an object that's larger, you may have to kind of move it around and tap it in there. You're going to get paint on your fingers. If you need an apron, there's aprons in the classroom at the front over by the teacher desk. There we go. That's not working as well as I thought it would, but hey, it's probably just me. You might need more paint. Okay, so as you're working, really think about what, am I, what do I want to make? Or do I just want to experiment with it? Do I want to just try a bunch of stuff? And remember, your wet stuff goes in here, and at the end of class, we'll just take it to the sink and clean it. Or, if you want to get a spray bottle, you can get a spray bottle, and you can just kind of like um, put some, spray these down just a little bit and wipe them out with some uh, tissue or um, paper towel. So, as you're working through, look at your composition. See what you have so far. Uh, somebody in the other class said, well, I just want to, you know, put a bunch of paint down and I want to fold it in half and smear it around and then you want to use your fingers. That's totally fine, too. This is all experimental. So uh, feel free to uh, add colors how you want. If you have questions, talk to your neighbors at your table or other people in the class. Uh, be creative. Uh, just know that we're going to probably cut these out at the end. So whatever is along the edges, it doesn't really matter so much. And then everything that's dry at the end goes back in a big container here. Anything that's wet goes in here, take it to the sink, clean it off, and you can leave damp things in here, and then they'll dry overnight and we'll put them in there. Uh, make sure your name is on your work. And here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So you'll probably want to get a pencil and you'll want to put your name on there somewhere in your class period. I'll just put like P period five. And then for cards and things like that, um, some people in the other class just took a little sticky note and they put their name on it. And then, and there's sticky notes up at my desk. You're totally welcome to use those if you want. And they just, they just carefully stuck in on the inside. You can totally do that. Then anything wet goes to the drying rack, which is next to the uh, turn-in shelf. Make sure you get it right, put it on the drying rack. And sometimes there's wet stuff on the bottom, like right here. So make sure you don't overlap on anybody's work. Put them on the drying rack. Then when you're ready to clean up, get the spray bottle, spray down your area, wipe it with a sponge, paper towel. And then these palettes here, you can decide if you wanna keep this as an artwork. Some people actually made a beautiful design and they wanted to keep it. And if that's the case, get your name on it and put the palette on the drying rack too. If not, then you can uh, throw it in the garbage and then tidy up everything. And the containers, when you're finished, they go to the front of the room by the whiteboard uh, on the shelf. And that's basically it. Um, so enjoy yourself, have fun, do some fun designs, learn some things about uh, object printing, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks.